no gunshots, but they get in Hey, what's up guys? Craft Farms here and welcome back to Upper Mississippi River Valley. So, as I said off camera, I would finish up plowing field 27 and start here on uh, field 55, which I have. I've got it all opened up. I'm going to use GPS on this field uh, just because of the way that it is. Uh, while that goes to the end of the row there, uh, just bring up the info here. Field 55 here is 4.12 hectares or 10 acres. So, so far we're at 20 acres of field. Uh, that one we run south, starting in the southeast and heading north. Uh, so we're done with fields 25 and 27. So after this, all that we've got left is the big old field 28 slash 29. Um, I'm not exactly sure what course play is going to do for a field edge path. If it's going to, like, notice that the boundaries are there or like what it's going to do so we'll find out uh, what it's going to do once we get up there my hope is that it just calculates the entire field um, because that would be the nicest thing it'd be the most simple uh, but I don't know if it doesn't calculate both of them it'll mean that I'll have to drive around the outside of the edge recording a field edge path that would be a pain in the butt so um, I haven't had to do that since like 2013 since it uh, like since they released the developer version in 2013 that they added that function of you know automatic field edge paths to I really don't want that to start so what do we got for the weather coming up here oh this thing will really light up tonight not that we need it, it is only coming up on a quarter after two in the afternoon so um i got my seasons days set to nine days at the moment i think that's probably where i'll leave it that's probably the safest route we possibly could go to six days but i'll just keep it at nine if i have to fast forward some extra days uh that's quite all right um it'll take take a few days to do all of our planting and everything anyways uh, and then like with our uh, let's see our soybeans those we can't plant until like day four you know until mid um, mid spring anyways so there's really nothing much that we can do uh, anyway and then of course we have to spray and we have to fertilize so with our uh, so let's see here let's take a look um so like our wheat we have to fertilize we have to like spray that right away afterwards okay wait no i think i'm gonna fertilize that right away after we plant it and then uh as soon as we plant our soybeans um then we'll go ahead and we'll spray the wheat and the corn because we can fertilize both the wheat and the corn and then we'll spray um, and then by the time we're done planting soybeans, we can spray the corn and the wheat and then fertilize the soybeans, and then we'll be able to spray the wheat and corn again, and then, um, spray the soybeans once, and then after we get done harvesting wheat and corn, we can spray the soybeans a second time, and then those will be ready for harvest as well. Uh, or well let's see because it'll be after we finish harvesting the wheat that we can spray the soybeans again because the soybeans and the corn those will be ready for harvest about the same time so gonna be a lot of back and forth with stuff so gonna be a pretty hectic uh season that's the only bad thing about doing the stuff where its seasons are a little bit different but not everything is the same anyways so just gotta get used to it, I guess. So, yeah. We are moving right along with our spring work, though. I am pretty happy with the progress. Another couple of days and we'll be cultivating. 
Uh, we'll get a good portion of this field done uh, in today's video and then whatever we don't get well we'll see how far along we are uh, if we still have better than half the field to go then we'll finish it in tomorrow's video otherwise if there's not a whole lot left I'll just finish it off camera and um, then tomorrow we'll be starting on the next field but it'll all depend on how things are looking at the end of the half hour time so uh, it shouldn't be too bad we should be able to get quite a bit of this field done um, in this video so I'm going to just turn off our GPS lines like this It is kind of annoying how the wheat stubble is green. Uh, that's kind of unfortunate. But it could just be that way. I Who knows? Maybe when you actually harvest it, it looks different. I guess I wouldn't know because I haven't harvested yet on this map. But I am definitely very eager to uh, get some harvest done. I think harvest is probably the most fun thing to do, uh, even in real life. Especially when you're using augers and bins and all that. Like if you're not using augers and bins, it... I don't know. Like in farm sim anyways. Uh, it It's still fun, but to uh, be the one trucking, it gets boring then. But like when you have augers and stuff... Being the one to haul the grain is a lot of fun because there's a little bit more involved. Of course, like on our save game here, we're going to be doing everything. You know, we'll combine and keep combining until our Richard Western is full. And then once it's full, go to the auger, unload, get back to the field, keep combining, and keep repeating until we're done. So. A lot of work for us, but it'll be nice. Uh, once we get into like running much more land and much bigger fields, more so the bigger fields part, I think, and like bigger equipment and stuff, that's when I'll probably start using a little bit more course play. Uh, I am going to go through and generate, like once we've gotten uh, field edge paths generated for all the fields, I am going to go ahead and go through and create course play courses for everything, um, you know, like the 2100 here and everything, just so I have the courses on hand, uh, so that way if I ever have something come up where I need to be doing something else, uh, I can. I don't know why all my courses came over from my large save game. We're going to make folders. This will be 2100, 1300, drill, um, 8 row, sprayer, spreader, draper, corn head. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Oops. Corn. And then... Transport. Those are all the folders that we'll have. I don't think we need anything else. So the transport, that's like... Um, to sell grain... Or anything like that. Um... Now, with course play, of course, the courses, is, courses are always the same. But with the auger, sometimes it may not always get to be in the exact same spot. Um, 
Now, the thing that I like doing with when I'm using the augers, uh, like if I'm using course play to um, unload into an auger, what I like to do is I record the course, and then when I get near to where the augers are, I'll set a waypoint or a wait point uh, so that once the you know item on course play hits that waypoint it'll sit there and wait just like what it's you know what it sounds like um, it'll sit there and wait until you know you manually do something with it whether that be you know click continue and it just continues driving the course or you take it off and you know, like what I like to do is I'll take it you know I'll stop the driver and then I will take over and I'll take the um, you know machine in use and I will um, unload it into the auger myself and then just set it back onto the course and it'll drive back to the field uh, that's what I was doing I had a save game on county line where I wasn't using seasons so I was combining all the crops that were ready on the map or actually I fast forwarded until all the crops were ready but um, you know I was combining and I had placed a whole bunch of bins and then I was using the backhoe auger and it uh, you know I basically I set the trucks up I started them in the field and then I would um, I was running grain cart and then I had to combine on course play as well and so then I'd run grain cart until the truck is full and then if the combine was full I'd run to the combine you know because the combine that was a higher priority than the trucks because I had two trucks running so if one of them was full and waiting at the wait point that was okay because I still had one that I could empty into if you know I was in a big rush which I wasn't never really was I only had the one combine running in the field so um, and the yield wasn't like super duper high or anything so I was in I was in no hurry by any means to get the combine going again um, or like to follow it and make sure it never filled because it would it would generally take a while um, so then while I was waiting for the combine to fill I'd hop over to the other truck and take it off course play and then I would drive over you know I would usually end up having to back up with where the first bin was and where the wait point was I would usually have to back the truck up and then I would drive over to the um, jump auger and unload and then drive over to where the course was and hit start driver again and it would go so that always helped um, you know it I was still able to use the augers I was able to run them and I was still able to use course play all at the same time so then like with unloading the bins and selling similar concept uh, you just pick a place to start and then you set the waypoint and basically away you go uh, and I really don't need the GPS now because it's pretty easy to figure out where to go with these where to how to pick them up but anyway and um, then you just put the auger where you put it and you just take the driver off of course play you load the trailer up and away you go again um, so I mean it it's very doable um, it just takes it takes a little bit to set things up but once you get things set up it's a breeze and supposedly it's supposed to start raining here at my house in about 10 minutes okay well we'll see if that actually happens uh, we actually have been getting a fair amount of rain lately uh, it's been it's really been helping like the sunflower crop um, I, I mean I highly doubt it's doing anything for the wheat considering the fact that wheat is being combined right now uh, along with canola that's being combined right now but the corn I'm not sure if it's really helping that like what it's doing to that but I've heard that uh, the sunflowers it is really helping uh, the sunflower crop has shot up 
along with the price has actually gone up two dollars I think is what it was uh, I know the price has gone up a little bit I think it was like two dollars and some odd cents that the price uh, rose so but yeah so it has been helping that a lot and it has been helping grass come back uh, some too along with the alfalfa but it's a little bit late in the season for it now to like go and get a second cut unless you cut like I saw a couple places where the person must have cut like really really early uh, and their alfalfa is ready to go again uh, you know it's thick it's blooming ready to cut but uh, my dad was saying a lot of the stuff like especially ours uh, you know this was that this was a little while ago of course maybe it's a different story now but where it uh, it was to the point where yeah it was bouncing back some but it was too late in the season to be cutting it again because if you cut it there would be nothing to cut in spring or you know early summer again next year so it just doesn't pay uh, to cut anymore what are we doing wow we're only 16 minutes in so we'll be able to finish this field and we'll get uh, we'll get the next field opened up too maybe maybe I say that uh, meaning it not saying maybe yeah we are going to saying maybe maybe we'll have to just kind of see what happens here So hopefully by the end of the week, we'll be ready to plant, or else planting already. I do wish I had more for grain drills. I might have to do some searching for that. Our corn planter is okay. Uh, maybe even something just a tad larger. But, um, like the drill, I'd like to, I'd like to get something a little bit bigger than that. Massey, uh, but I'll have to kind of do some searching. I mean, there are a couple in-game ones here if we look. Maybe like the Vatterstad or something, this guy here, but that requires 180 horsepower, and I don't think it's 125, 116. This would be about the only thing that could run it. I don't know if I'd want to use that. Does this even actually have three point? Yeah, this doesn't even have three points. So, in reality, you, we actually can't uh, use this no matter how bad. Okay, I don't know what that was. I just heard some kind of weird noise. Uh, but in reality, we can't use that. If we bought it, we'd have no use for it. And for mods, I've got. You know, like, we've got the big bud, but that's way too large. Maybe this guy. That's a 3 meter working with, though. What's the... Yeah, that's smaller than this is, even. Um, so there's that thing. I think this is a cedar. That's the same size. That's for, like, corn and stuff. That's a little bit too big for what we're doing right now. And this one, again, 3 point. Um... Let's see, actually, I think, no, that couldn't quite run that. So I am, I might, uh, after I get done recording, maybe I'll go look for some more planters, uh, planter mods, and just kind of see if I can find some drills and some corn planters uh, that are a little bit smaller, but aren't quite super small. Uh, like I said, the drill is what I'd like to get a bigger you know that's what I'd like to get for larger right now because the corn planter is okay uh, it's it'll get us through this season so uh, maybe next season we can upgrade a little bit more but we'll see what I can find I guess I'll have to sit and look around a while and see what I can see some Google searching. Let's see what I can find for drills and corn planters. 
course, by the time you guys see this video, I'll have already found something because today is Sunday for me, and this is going out on Tuesday night. So uh, I am working on recording quite a few videos in advance, uh, just because it's a little bit easier if I can get ahead at least maybe three, four videos, and then just kind of slowly keep recording stuff, so that I'm at least maybe two or three days ahead on things. Uh, I like to stay ahead when possible, especially for weekends, uh, because weekends, you know, they're always different. I don't know what I'll be doing, um, so maybe something will come up where I'm leaving town for the weekend, and I'm not going to be able to record anything. Then I still have something to get out for you guys, because it's been recorded already. So, that is always nice. That and I am going to probably be working here again pretty soon. Um, my old boss from... Okay, so evidently um, my OBS decided to crash uh, completely. So uh, that's nice. I just spent a couple of minutes talking about stuff that it didn't even record. But okay, so little recap. We finished plowing that field. Now we're up here on field 28 and 29. Just recorded the field edge path. It um, re it went around the entire field. So our size is 5.17 hectares. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to put down all this info. Uh, so we need to put check on field 55. So field 28, 29, 5.17, 5.17. 5.17, that is, we'll just round that up to 13. 13. Alright, so let's figure out how do we want to start this field. It would start in the north, east, and head south. So go ahead, north, east, head south. And the same for right there. Perfect. Okay, so <clears throat> the video might be a little bit shorter just because of how it cut off a little bit there, but um, I am going to end the video, and what I'll do off camera is I'll get this field opened up as well, and then uh, we can come back tomorrow and we'll work on plowing it some more, um, and I actually have to go make myself something to eat because I'm starting to get to where I'm starving. Um, even though it is like 3.40 or 3.50, uh, it's almost dinner time, but I haven't really eaten lunch yet because I had a much later breakfast, so at noon I really wasn't hungry, but now it is, now it's kicking in, so, um, but I'm going to eat and work on getting this and might record another video today, I might not, I'm not exactly sure, I might wait until tomorrow or something, just work with the ones that I've gotten so far. But uh, like I said, I am going to, I'll go around this field four times off camera. <clears throat> and then tomorrow we'll be back and um, we will finish, or well, we'll try and get as much of this field done as we can. Looks like this was maybe soybeans before. But um, yeah, so we'll try and get as much of this thing done as we can tomorrow. Hopefully finish it. If not, then we'll finish it in a couple of days um, and get started on our cultivation for the season but yeah guys that's going to do it for me for today if you enjoyed the video make sure you hit that thumbs up button if you're new to the channel welcome to the channel be sure to subscribe if you like what you see be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video be sure to check out down below in the description for my PC specs my upload schedule as well as links to all my social medias and some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Bins are a little bit close to the field, so we'll just go around them. 
uh, as best as we can. But anyway, thanks for watching, you guys. And as always, we will see you tomorrow.